Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Today we're going to do a mixed media background, and this is what we're going to end up with. And, sorry, and uh, I was going for the whole mixed media art journal page for Danielle, uh, Daniela's art, but I got carried away and I got playing. So we're doing this, and then in my next video, I will do my, uh, what I want to put on top, you know? But look at all those layers. There's like eight layers. And you can see it goes all the way down. It is so good. So good, so good, so good. And I love it. And I did it lighter than I normally would, um, you know, just for y'all that don't like all the dark. But I will be doing a dark one coming up, too. But, yeah, so I just played around with some drips of different colors and a couple sprays and some texture paste and stencils and stamps and tissue paper and I just I had a ball and like I said I could have went on and on and on so I hope you guys enjoy it uh, I'm trying to do a few intros to see if I like doing intros uh, you know to show you when it's done we'll see let me know what you think down below I love you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one bye Okay, so we're going to start. I'm just going to pick a page. Look at these gorgeous pages out of here. I'm just going to pick a page out of here. And obviously this dried without me. Uh, I closed it without letting it dry because I really love this page, but I'm going to have to go over it at some point. We're just going to use one page today and I'm going to use this. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it out. All right, here we go. So I'm doing a mixed media page. Now, when I'm doing that, I don't have to worry about gessoing and all. Um, I'm going to use my Mod Podge mat, but of course, use whatever you have. You can use your white school glue. You can use decoupage. You can use glue stick. You be, you do you boo, do whatever you want to do. Got my paintbrushes. This actually is a uh, one and a half flat from plaid a couple of you asked about this i love it i'm going to see if i can get uh maybe one to do a giveaway i do have a big giveaway coming up so keep your eyes open for that however we're going to start here now look i'm going to do intermediate which means it's going to be a little bit more advanced a little bit more mixed media going on um but i am going to use some at home elements and a few things you can do you know all right so right here what i have are some napkins and these are just paper towels or napkins or whatever that I've used to clean up paint obviously it was uh, yellow and blue from my last art journal page so all I'm gonna do and I like them wrinkled and if you want them wrinklier <laughs> spray it with some water squish it take it out let it dry you got some good stuff so I'm gonna go in with my Mod Podge and here we go and then look if you only have glossy Mod Podge use it Use whatever you have and work with it, that's all. So I'm just gonna put some here and there and I'm gonna rip it. And just make sure I get my glue. I don't know why I sing, I, I don't know. Here we go. And I love the texture that it gives. I love that it doesn't um, work. <laughs> work with you maybe is what I want to say. Now I'm going to show you, I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to just rip a little bit more and do some down here, but I am going to show you something that you can do as well. And I want different colors and textures down uh, on the base. Um, nothing like a cat hair. Come on. Oh, I came off my shirt. Yuck. I mean, yum. I love my cats, but it's because she was laying on me. But I try not to let them in here too often. They end up drinking paint water. They end up all over everything, and I just don't want them everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Come on. But she was snuggly this morning and on the couch decided to sit with me. Okay. 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 Now, look. I got a napkin. You can use whatever napkins you have. Go to your local dollar store. They have tons of napkins. Um, you can use tissue paper. You can go to your local party store. You can do napkin swaps with your friends. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna rip a piece 
I drive people nuts and know that they have two pieces to them. This one has three. This is a three ply. This, they ain't playing around. Um, so you also get this great white piece that we'll work with later. So we're getting bang for the buck. Bang for your buck. All right. Okay, that's my table, not me. I took my meds this morning. I'm not gassy. Or am I? Okay. I just think I'm funny. Nobody else does. My family doesn't. I think because they just have too much fun with me that they take it for granted. Okay. And you see, we're just going and we're just laying things down. Not a, uh, you know, too big of a deal. And we're covering that back up. Now, the catalog is glossy. And what this is going to do, you know, sometimes we'll put um, gesso on glossy items to uh, mattify it out. It's kind of like if you're doing your makeup and you want to mattify that little oiliness. Um, to mattify it out. So things stick to it, right? And I love Mod Podge. It does that. But like I said, you can use whatever you want. Um, hmm. I might do, let's see. I'm going to lay that there. And I'm going to save this for a moment. And I have a couple papers here. Now, this is just your average scrapbook paper that you can get. I don't think I'm using that today. I'm going to put that there. This is a piece that I made. Um, I have a video on it. I'll try to remember to link it at the end. But you can see, here's the back of it. And then here's the mixed media part that I made. And you can see the delicious, look at the textures. That's bubble wrap and stamps and colors and stamps and colors. And I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just gonna, and I did this to show you that if you go to your local craft store, arts or craft store, or maybe you do trades of mixed, you know, of uh, scrapbook paper or whatever, um, you don't have colors maybe that you're using or that you want, make them. <laughs> Make them. And I'm going to do these a little smaller. And I'm going to set them around in areas. And then pat them down so they stick. I use a lot of uh, Mod Podge. You don't have to. Some pieces of the scrapbook paper are a little thicker. So sometimes you want it. But if you just do a good pat down, and what's wonderful is the Mod Podge dries clear, so those colors will definitely come through. And look, if you get to a point where you're like, oh no, you know, everything, I dried everything and there's pieces sticking up, you're going to be putting on top of it anyway. But you can just definitely go back because you can see some of the tissue paper and paper towels bubble because they get wet and they're thin. But look, it just adds to the, to the page. We're just doing a junk journal. You know, we're just doing an art journal. We're, you could do this on ATC cards. You can do this one on whatever you want. And you can layer on top. That's what I'm going to do. This is a pretty color here. I love these torn edges because they pick up a uh, color. I try not to put too much Mod Podge on them. But, uh, you know, if you do, you do. Just because I want color to pick, you know, that to pick up color. And if it gives me a little texture sticking up, I'm good with that. All right, so, hmm, I like to go and do a little pat down on it. Right here, I need something. So I'm gonna look, oh, I kinda like that. You can see I took some white gel pen and wrote on there. Just gonna add, oh, I love that piece right there. La 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 la. Okay, pushing this down. And let's put a little piece here. And just patting it with my brush. And it, as the Mod Podge becomes sticky, uh, as it starts to dry, you just go back and kind of pat everything, and it'll. It'll go down. It's not, the paper's a little uh, thicker of a paper, 
which don't be afraid of. It's okay. It just takes a second. All right. So, I mean, you can see these delicious, delicious pieces that I made. Whew. And again, you can use this back if you want. Let me just show you. We'll just do a couple pieces here on our brush cal. We'll do a piece here. I'm just going to tap it down again. And we'll do a piece here. All right, so you can see most of that page is covered. But what I'm going to do, and if you could see, I have this seam here on the inside. I have this paper, and it's white on the back, and it's this delicious. Now, I'm not going to, once I put this down and put the Mod Podge over it, no matter what I put over it, um, the little glittery things aren't going to come through. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, I'm not going to be mad at it or anything like that. But what I am going to do is take this and just run some glue. I don't know how far this will go down or how far in. Leave that there for a second. And I'm going to just, I think, let's go this way because I need it bigger down here. And I'm just going to stick this here. Put a little bit more glue under there if you have to. And push it down. And I'm doing this for several reasons. I want to show you that if you only have two pieces, maybe you only have paper toweling. Um, and if you only have paper towel, make a mixed media piece with it. I've been requested to do that. I will probably do that uh, tomorrow. But, um, you know, use a paper towel, Kleenex, toilet paper. Use, maybe you only have one or two sheets of scrapbook paper. Um, use it. Use it like this. You can definitely do it in big pieces. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay. So you see where we're at. I'm going to put my brush in there. I'm going to put my Mod Podge away. I go through this stuff like water. I'm almost done with this. I just opened it because I just love it so much. I just love it so much. Okay. I'm going to take my heat gun. I'm going to hold it pretty far away to dry this. Now I can see right here I have some glue sitting. And all I'm going to do is just take some of my napkin and instead of wasting the glue, I'm trying to get this off here. Come on. Okay. I'm going to go in with my brush, just a little bit of the glue on there and tap it and just put it on there. Yeah. Just not to waste the glue. Oh, all this over here. Come on, now. And I'm going to dry this for the most part. And you don't want to hold it too close if you're using a heat gun because obviously it will um, kind of cook it, I guess, bubble it. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, and I might do that later on. Uh, but on this level, I'm just going to try to get most of the glue. I can see it's sticking up there a minute. I'm just going to push it down. Let me give you a tip. Don't smoke in bed. No. All right. All right. Okay. Um, that's an old man joke, like I'm sure my grandfather must have said. Okay, so you can see um, when you go to touch at this point, um, it's a bit. It's going to be a little bit tacky. And when you go to touch anything, it, your finger will stick to it. So try not to do that too much. Like this is dry. But what I'm going to do... So I'm going to set this aside for a second and I'm going to work on, I'm going to show you some fun, just something fun with the regular tissue paper. Now, mind you, this is white tissue, obviously white tissue paper. Um, and I'm going to use some use blue stays on and I'm going to get a, let's hope we have ink on here because I am horrible with my ink pads because being a mixed media artist, I use these things like, uh, you know, like crazy. All right. I'm going to find, I'm going to use this 
Let's try the scamp. It's one of my favorites. That's why I always go to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up. And you ink it whatever way works for you. You can go to your local arts and crafts store and they have dollar bins. Now, chances are they're not going to be permanent like stays on or memento. Um, but you can get them and still use them in your mixed media or take a coupon and buy a black or your favorite color in a stays on or memento um, and see, you know, how that works for you. So I'm going to just stamp it. And you see, I don't have to have it, you know, come out. Now you could, I don't think I have any foam sitting here. You could uh, put foam under there and it'll come out a little bit better, you know, because the table's so flat. I don't have that resistance. So I'm going to push that. I'm going to kind of go sideways. All right. It's not hitting all the notes on there. So let me grab one different one. That I can maybe work with a little better. If y'all been with me for a while, you know, this is my tried and true. I love it. Okay. I'm going to ink her up and I'm pushing it down. Can't you hear my table? All right. Yeah. That gives me much more coverage. It's all right though. Use whatever you have and whatever result you get, it'll be fine. Okay. All right. I kind of want it everywhere because what happens is, and you can use different colors. You know, I'm just using this just out of, that's what I have sitting here. Okay, what happens is when you glue this down, it's not right there. When you glue this down on your page, the white tissue paper kind of disappears, right? And when it disappears, you get this kind of translucent kind of look. So it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to hit it with my heat gun just to dry it, just for a second. It dries permanent. It might smear a little bit. It might not have complete time to dry. You can see how much fun this is to dry. Am I even hitting it? I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> hey, would it be my channel if I did anything good? Anything right, rather. Okay. So, let's do this. I'm going to grab my Mod Podge back. I wasn't thinking correctly. I'm going to grab my brush again. I'm just going to make sure it's dry, though. I don't want any water or as least amount of water as I can find or get. I'm going to go here, lay that there and tear this a little bit and lay this. Tissue paper can be a little bit of a bear to work with. So just be gentle like a little baby bottom. That's okay if it wrinkles, it's texture. And I don't know if you can see, go around those edges real good, it disappears, especially when it's dry and you get just that uh, stamp. Now, can you stamp on top of this stuff without the paper. Of course you can, but this makes it a little bit more, it makes it translucent. It makes it have a little bit of interest to it rather than just stamping. Um, let me see, maybe I can, let me stamp just with the stamp and show you what I'm talking about. Just so you know, all right, getting some ink on there. So if I go here and stamp, do you see how it is? It's a lot different than that. I mean, it's much bolder and there's nothing wrong with that. You definitely, if that's the look that you're going for, you definitely can do it with no problems. Nobody's going to say that isn't right. That looks like poop. It doesn't look like poop. It looks fantastic, but it's all in what you want, but you can see, and you can do both. If you want, you can see how much darker it is. This one just has a, a more overall look, but it, it all depends on what you like. I'm not here to tell you do this, do that, like that. Don't like this. You know, you got to do what you, makes you happy. That's why you're doing it. So I'm going to go in here a little bit. And I'm going to try to stick and stay on the, um, as much of the, the magazine 
that's left. I'm going to overlap, but you know, I'm going to try to stay on these white magazine parts. And the nice thing with tissue paper is if it hangs over, you could, it'll come right off. Do you know what I mean? Like when it's dry, you just tear that off or you take your brush like me and you kind of go down the side a little bit and you get uh, it taken care of. Oh, I just love this. And like I said, if you don't have modeling paste, molding paste, whatever you choose to call it, um, this is a great way to add texture. And have a good time. That's what your paper towels, your toilet paper, don't even laugh, toilet paper. Uh, matter of fact, I, I'm going to do a video with toilet paper to use it as a uh, paste. I've been playing around. So anyway, I know I come up with weird things, but I want people at home who might not be able to, if you can afford it, go buy it. Go buy, uh, my, I call it molding paste, but go buy modeling paste. If you can't, I like to give you guys little alternatives to play with. Oh, I want something right there. Okay. Oh, I love the way that's over the paper towel because that color comes through a little bit from underneath. Oh, love it. Okay. Uh, I might do something right there and then we'll be done there. I could just sit and play and layer all day. And I rhyme. I don't know if you know. I call the Beastie Boys because I'm a good rhymer. All right. People ask why the Beastie Boys. I, I grew up with them. And that's just, I'm not really sure who else to say when I rhyme. Probably more like nursery rhymes. Okay. All right, you see, look how pretty, and when it's on white, how it's, it just looks like we, oh, okay, I'm just in love, I can't help it. All right, now, put this away for a minute, I'm going to show you up close, look at that, look at that background. Now comes the part everybody hates when I do. I'm going to decide, though, what color we're going to do, I'm not going to... I'm not going to white it out so much. Sometimes I'll just throw the white on here or black, but we're going to try something a little different. Now, it's okay you have some magazine glossiness sticking out. Now, you could be using a newspaper or something different. Um, it doesn't matter. It's okay that some of it sticks out because it'll just adhere differently when we put the paint, and that's okay. And that little bit of text is good. That's you know, that's cool. Here we go, we go, here we go, here we go. And when you have these pieces left, don't throw them away. You can use them another day. See, rhyme. Okay, good. All right. So, what color do I want to make my background? Hmm. I'm thinking pink. I'm just gonna go in with some pink. I think I'm gonna go in with some fuchsia. And I'm just gonna squirt a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of white, like a ploop, and I'm going to squirt a little bit of water. I'm going to take my big brush, I'm going to wet my big brush, I'm going in and going to wet this and kind of move it around. See it's pastel-y? That's what I'm going for. If you don't like pastel and you don't want pastel, don't, don't do pastel. Okay, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to just brush this up here because I know I want that up there. And I'm just going to lightly take it down. 
And what I'm doing here is pushing back all that color and all that we just put on. Now, the reason I add water is because of this. One second. Y'all like the dripping, so I will probably drip. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And then brush it the other way because when you're brushing down, you hit one at, you know, one way. And when you brush this way, you hit the other ways that you're missing. Okay, so what uh, this is going to do is pushing it back. So when everything's sitting here, like all the black and the darker colors, it's kind of what your eye sees. But once you put something and kind of put a color on top, now when you look at it, you know, you see pink, right? You see the light pink. But then when you look closer, you see these beautiful uh, little pieces of deliciousness in the background. Now, here's what I like to do. You could do these on ATC cards. You could do this on uh, art journal page. You could do whatever you want. I like to use a lot of paper. I like to look for paper towels rather that have a lot of texture on them because it lifts up, you know, and, and gives you, gives you some texture. So I'm going to just set this down. And lift it up. Okay. And if you look close, see how you look, you could see that texture, how awesome. It's just very little everywhere, but it's, it's good. Now look at this and say, you know what? I think I might want a little bit more of this to come through here. So I'm going to give it the little squirt and a little wipe. And what that, you see how that does? It brings it forward again. And you can of course wipe it more, spray it more. I think I'm going to do something down here, just a squirt. Let me tell you that this is a distress sprayer and I'm in love. I'm not going to lie. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I might try to get one for a giveaway because I love it. Okay. Oh, now look what I did. I love making mistakes because I can show you because that, uh, tissue paper underneath wasn't fully dry and I just sprayed it with water more. When I went to wipe it, it ripped it a little bit. So keep that in mind. But all I'm going to do is go back in with my brush and tap that on. And then I'll hit it with my heat gun to dry it or my hair dryer or like I always tell you guys, so what's your favorite YouTuber? Watch a video and then come back and she'll be dry. Plus, it is so humid in my room right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Love it. Put that in the water for a second. Gonna wipe this. Now, we got how many layers? We have our base, which was our magazine. We have our mixed media paper. We have our tissue paper. And we have our paint. So we're about four layers in. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so now what I want to do is I think I'm going to break out that texture paste for molding paste, modeling paste, whatever, whatever. Or you can use gesso. And I'm going to use this stencil. It's a laser cut, cut, cut stencil. Golly in it doesn't have a name it's 201106 doesn't have a name mm -mm, 30599 so you can see it's very pretty though it's a very pretty stencil okay now something else i want to show you real quick this i have a million of these this is a foam, kids foam thing that you can use. And I'm going to use this in a bit with some spray, but you can get these at, this is a sticky, which it doesn't matter, at your local arts and crafts store in your kids section. And um, just get a cutout and then you have a stencil. You can also use um, 
at your scrapbooking paper section in your arts and crafts store, they have um, scrapbook paper that's got cutouts and stuff. You can definitely use that as well. Okay, so I have to find my, where is my extra paint? What did I do with it? I just used it yesterday. Here it is. Obsession Snow White in Plaid Folk Art Texture Paint 2860. Love. Love. Except I can't find my green uh, my green thing. So it's going to go in with. Nope, not going to go in with that. <laughs> uh, I'll get some out. So I'm just going to use my stick right now. Okay. I'm going to set it here that here take my credit card and go to town just like we did the other uh scrapbook page where we just did this as the background but we're going to use this don't worry if you don't get the full effect of the stencil we're just going in for some texture just keep scraping it this has a lot of openings so try to keep you know what you use as flat as you can scrape don't worry about it like i said it doesn't matter if you get full 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 effect just try to get it kind of you know a little bit here and a little bit there because that's going to add texture oh no oh well pieces like girl i'm taking you everywhere okay i'm gonna lift this up now look it got a little mush there so if you don't dig that go in with you know whatever you have scrape it out if you want you can pat that down doesn't matter. Those things don't matter to me though. But what I'll do is kind of do this. Take a little bit more. A little bit. I love this stuff. Okay. And scrape it so we have some texture down here. Yes, yes, yes. I'll lift it up now you can see here we got a little bit of a like a little bit of a mess but that's okay I'll just flatten it down a little bit and I can go in here and just add texture right with my things just so it adds a little bit of texture if it bothers you too much and then I'll scrape off this put the lid back on set this over here and I'm going in with my heat gun Keep your heat gun far away because you don't want it to cook it. And if you see some pieces sticking off, just you can pat them down with your finger. This dries fairly fast for a texture paint. And I don't know if it's because it's, there is acrylic paint in here. I'm not sure. But it does dry fairly fast. And when you're doing, you know, when you're doing mixed media, if you're doing an art journal page or ATCs or, uh, you know, whatever, if you're like me, I have no patience. I want everything and I want it now. You know what I'm saying? So sitting for hours waiting for stuff to dry isn't my gig, but this stuff dries. <laughs> Now, a little tip, like I said, if you want to stamp a little bit better, also make sure when you're doing this, because I know mine, make sure your pages aren't sticking together. Like that's my page. And if two stick together, that's okay. It just gives you more um, structure on your page. But I just like to, because I am a messy girl. So every once in a while, I like to go and make sure that things aren't necessarily sticking together too bad. All right, and this is dang near dry. How great is that? I love it. All right, so now we have another layer. Well, I want to put a color on top, and I'm kind of sticking with the 
kind of sticking with the pastel -y kind of look. Um, but I am digging this red. So I'm going to grab this crimson color. And I'm going to add white to it. Just a squizzle. Wipe my stick off. Stir this together. And it's going to be a darker pink. Hmm, more red. This is uh, quinacridone crimson. You don't have to make sure it's all the way mixed and you can use whatever you can use purple you can use whatever you want i'm gonna take my brush I'm gonna clean it and you don't even have to uh i'm gonna add some water i'm gonna leave that dampness on my brush a little bit you don't even have to um mix the color if you don't want you can just keep it what it is and i'm gonna go over like this down the page and you see how it's picking up that texture on the modeling paste, texture paste. And the wetter your brush, the wetter your paint, it'll go in a little bit more on the, you know, it'll suck in, which is good. I love the way this looks. I like the white contrast of it. And if there's parts of your page that you want a little bit darker, because we're going to wipe it off again. Unless you want to keep it like this. If you want to keep it like this, by all means. I want that a little wetter right in here. A little more color. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to spray some water. Now know that this will react. It'll kind of have things, uh, what word do I want to say? Get a little wet. Maybe the uh, texture paste might get a little damp. And that's okay. Now you can go in again and wipe any areas that you might want to come through a little bit more. Uh, see, I just love, and this is a personal preference kind of thing, but see, I love when just a little bit of it peeps through, like I know, right? And and you can go in deeper, right? I know what I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna draw on here, but go in with a little bit more of the water. You see how you get that coming through? And I just, I love it. Okay. I think you get the idea. And I, I just love it. And if you want your texture paste to be colored, you can definitely color it like the one I did yesterday. Maybe, now I'm showing you this, but maybe you want these, you know, colored more. Maybe you want more color in them. Then just wet your brush a little bit more and put them in there and you see how it kind of colors maybe you changed your mind you don't want it to be white anymore you want it to have that color so there's so many different ideas and ways that you can do it and then I'll just hit this And that becomes another layer. And I'm not going to worry too much about drawing this. Okay. I'm going to use, let me 
see the spray here. I need a bright spray. Um, I'm gonna try purple, I think. Let's go for purple. I'm gonna use the uh, stencil spray by Plaid by Folk Art. And I'm gonna use this and show you. Okay, you just lay it down. I go up far. If you want to be fancy, you can put, you know, brown paper underneath here or printer paper or mixed media paper, whatever. And when you spray and it oversprays, you know, kind of gets on there. Um, and then you can always turn this over. But look. Oh, love it. And I hit that. This is permanent, which is fantastic. Oh, I love it. I wish I had a brighter color of that. I might have to move it and go in with the white. But I love it. And you can see, you can always, there's on here, and you can always cast it off onto another piece, like I told you. I'm going to turn it this way and see what do I have here. Come on, I know I have white. I need white, I need white. I don't want yellow. I know, I'm still here, just trying to find my white and I can't. Very annoying, because I know I have it. And I don't want to add too much more on there. And if I can't find my white, See if this will even spray. These don't always spray well. These are the Deco Art Media, and I haven't cleaned it yet. But let's see. Let's yeah, see. Ugh, drives me insane. These, like I said, I'm gonna have to do my tip on cleaning because I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and I need white. I need white. Oh well, we're not gonna have white. It's a sad day. I can't find my white. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't want blue either. Okay. Let me try yellow. Let's see if yellow will even show up. Just a little bit. Probably gonna go a little orange. Ah, uh, no, not even worth doing. So never mind. We're not gonna put anything on top of it. Now I made this background a little darker. I'll show you why. If I would put white right now, dripping down, which I'm gonna do, it's gonna help push all this kind of back. I don't want any more color, and I do want to do a face. I might not, because I'm keeping you here way too long, and I really don't want to uh, keep you here for six hours while I play, because this is what happens is I get caught in playing. I'm going to take some of this pink away, the pink red. I'm going to add, I'm going to see how the white goes. I'm just going to throw that there. I'm gonna wet it really good and wet that up there. Take my take my big brush this time. Gonna clean it off. And it's okay if it has a little bit of pink in it. It's not the biggest deal. I'm gonna turn this this way so you can see. And I'm going in. I'm just going to run it. Oh, it, it's, I can't even tell you what it's like. I love it. Look at that. Oh. And you don't have to put as much as me. You can put less. You can go faster. But look at that. Boop, boop. Oh, lovely. I'm going to just give it a bang. 
look at that and it picks up some of that color you know as, as you're going down um let me go in i just want to get a little bit more here now i watered it down a little maybe a little too much but that's okay that's okay because i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna take my brush i'm gonna go in with this white and flick and you can see it's not as white as i wanted it's not as opaque so i'm just gonna hit a little bit here spray it not as much just four sprays i'm gonna wet it i want it a little bit more opaque oh yeah wherever you think it's too dark or that you want some interest oh my gosh i can't even all right i gotta stop because i can go do that all day so now what i'm going to do is real quick give it a quick dry if you do the white and you're like you know what i made it too light then flip some pink on it if you want I don't think I want that though on this one. I think I'm pretty happy. And what I like about it is it's almost ombre-ish where the white went and then it went down to the darker. Mm -hmm. Do I want a little bit of pink? running oh do we do we do we oh god this is when life changes for you i want that brush cleaned out i got water going everywhere but look if you don't have water going everywhere then you're not doing it right no i'm just gonna do like one here one here and one here and there and there and there and then what i'm gonna do is take my heat gun Just help it just a little bit. I love it. Okay. Look at that background. I know. To some people it looks a mess. To me, it's like, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Now, here's the thing. I'm not gonna keep you here all day while I sit here and, and make um do my top on it. I'm gonna end the video here and then I will add what i want to add on it in another video that way you know you can kind of not sit for three hours and watch me have to watch me play um but that's what i'm gonna do because i think it would just be you know better and then you'll see how this all comes together once you put something on top of it for right now it's a mixed media background it is a very detailed mixed media background if you look at it and you're like it's too much go in with your paper towel a little bit of water and dab it up i love it i'm not going to do anything to change it and yeah that's that so keep your eye out i'll it'll probably be up the next video so if you see this and you want to see the next one it'll be in the you know in succession to the next video i put up uh but for now this is great i can't wait to paint something on here so Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. I'm sorry it's so long. I could sit here and do a million more hours of just playing on here because I love it. You can see how you do layer after layer after layer, and I will show you how to bring it all together in the next video. Um, and yeah, just share me around. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you uh, do this and how it comes out. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And progress, not perfection. And I just love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.